And so we are going into February now and coming out of January, coming out of the New Year's. Now going into February, into February now, there was a, there was a celebration done by the Romans called the Lupercalia. And the Lupercalia was based upon their gods of Pan and Juno. And um, they also, February is actually named after one of their gods as well. And so this is a time where you're coming out of the winter and you're going toward the spring season. And so they used to uh, have large gatherings of young people and they would take the name of women, put them in a large container, and the men would choose them and literally have a sexual relationship. So it was based upon this, you know, Cupid concept. The Greek word is uh, eros. This is modern day Valentine's? Yeah, so I want to tell you where, 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 where it comes in now. Yeah. The Greek word is eros, erotica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so erotica is, is basically sexuality. And so that, that was the main issue on this occasion. And this is where you get cupids from and hearts and things like that. Because this is actually the ceremony uh, of, you know, uh, open sexuality. What happened was they combined this with an individual named Valentine, who in the Roman times, in the, in the third century of the Roman era, he was protecting young people. The Romans said no marriage because we want men to fight strong in, in battle, so we're not going to let you get married. Valentine, you know, a religious priest, he disagreed with this. They put him in jail. He went against the state. Eventually they executed him. And on the day of his execution, he wrote a letter to two of the young people getting married, and he said, from your Valentines. So that's where Valentine, he's St. Valentine's. So, so, so they took the concept of the open sexuality, put the name of, of a Christian priest on it, so it seems like a holy day, but actually it's the open sexuality of the Lupercalia. And that is the dangerous thing uh, for Muslims and people of conscience, to get involved in this, because what happens is pornography, erotica, this overcomes everything else. So it seems like it's innocent. It's like they say, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It seems like it's innocent because Valentine was protecting young people. But the reality is, it is an occasion where more people commit fornication and adultery, where rape happens, unwanted pregnancy. It is actually a dangerous time. And so therefore, we're saying to Muslims, don't play around with the devil. Don't play around with evil things and think that it is uh, sport and play. Because what is happening is that young people are being uh, fooled into focusing their life on their sexuality, as opposed to folks focusing their life on their education, on their physical fitness, uh, and then grow into their sexuality. This is how societies develop themselves over the centuries. And of course, the last revelation you know, uh, of the Qur'an uh, uh, brought us the beautiful example of the husband and the wife and the family and how people can protect themselves and how sexuality can actually be uh, a beautiful thing. It can be a halal, permissible thing and not something wild and, and, and uncontrolled. Tell us now for the person who's just tuning in, you know, they got their friend and they said, look, man, this, this uh, Valentine's Day, there's more to it. But you know what? It's in our public schools. It's all over the place. Look, Johnny just wants to tell Susie that she's cute. You know what I mean? Innocent, no. Kids are passing around. What's the big deal? Well, of course, um, again, this is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Meaning that it appears to be innocent on the outside. Yeah. And, you know, if a person is, if a boy is passing a comment to a girl or vice versa, there's nothing wrong with that in, in the essence. The problem is, is that the, the socialization, that the society itself teaches people how to take it a step further. And so when they watch the television programs or movies, then they will see how it goes a step further. Even cartoons, the two ducks, you know, in the cartoons Even are falling ducks. in love. Even ducks. Donald <laughs> Duck. I mean, everybody's <laughs> falling in love now. Yeah. And so that's erotica. And so the dangerous thing is, it opens up the door, you know, to a bottomless pit. You know, it's a dangerous area because sexuality is a natural thing. And when we look at, at the Quran, it tells us, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاهِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلَ The Quran, the Last Testament says, do not come close to fornication and adultery. Now what Islam is saying about 
sexuality uh, is very important because the creator of the heavens and the earth uh, is revealing to people there are certain actions that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't kill, you shouldn't steal, you shouldn't be jealous of your neighbor, um, you shouldn't you know, be involved in magic and uh, taking of interest and so forth and so on. But when it comes to adultery and fornication, Allah says, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاهِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا in Surah to Isra. So it says, don't come near fornication, don't come near adultery, because it is an abomination and it will destroy everything in the past. So this is a dangerous um, thing. It, it doesn't say, don't commit adultery. It said, don't come near it. Now why is there a difference between uh, killing and adultery? Because killing is not a natural thing. And any human being who sees another person killed, it should be repulsed by that. It's an ugly, detestable thing. But sexuality, that's what our bodies are created for. And so a man is naturally attracted to a woman. A woman is attracted to a man. So that's why Allah said, don't come near it. Because it's, a, it's something that we want to do. We are built to do that in order for the species you know, to, to maintain itself. So therefore, what Islam is saying is that yes, have sexuality, but do it within the confines of marriage. Do it in an organized fashion where the man respects the woman, where the, you know, the family is set up, you know, where he takes care of his children. That's the way it is. The Lupercalia, the Valentine's erotica concept, is uncontrolled, undisciplined sexuality. And it starts with that little note sent to Jane or sent to Zainab. That's how it starts off, just the innocent. That's how it innocent, starts. But then the pink hijab. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they have pink kufis or, you know, <laughs> the pink thobe. So we don't do whatever it is. No, we don't get involved at all.